the spotted hyena, also known as Crocuta crocuta, or as the laughing hyena, is a formidable predator. With a bite force of over 1,100 pounds per square inch, the spotted hyena can digest skin and bone, crushing some of the largest of animals. Once grabbed by one of these predators, getting loose is almost impossible. They don't let go, and they start eating immediately. The spotted hyena displays greater plasticity in its hunting and foraging behavior than other African carnivores. It hunts alone, in small parties of two to five individuals or in a large group. During a hunt, spotted hyenas often run through ungulate herds to select an individual to attack. When selected, their prey is chased over a long distance, often several kilometers, at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour with 37 miles per hour. Once subdued, the prey is shown no mercy. Hyenas and bears are two creatures that start eating immediately once they pull an animal down. They don't wait for it to die. The spotted hyena is the largest extant member of the hyenidae and is further physically distinguished from other species by its vaguely bear-like build, rounded ears, and less prominent mane. These animals are extremely dangerous and extremely smart, showing no mercy to its victims. Today we're going to travel over to Nairobi National Park in Kenya, Africa. and discuss the brutal attack on Anthony Parsha. Please type Frank and Gina to get to our channel to subscribe. Here's the story. So buckle up and let's find out what happened to Anthony Parsha. Viewer discretion is advised. Here's the story. Nairobi National Park in Kenya, Africa has a variety of wildlife including the endangered black rhino, lions, leopards, cheetahs, hyenas, buffaloes, giraffes, all of which live in Nairobi National Park. One thing you can notice is the southern end of the park doesn't even have fencing, allowing dangerous predators to roam close towards the University of Kenya. On February 5th, 2024, Kevin Mamunya and Anthony Parsha went out to try and collect some sticks. The two boys were university students and were just taking a break. As the boys continued through the forest, it became evident how dark it was. They could barely see in front of them. They quickly tried to gather things, but they heard rustling in the woods. It was clear to them that they were being watched. As the hyena continued to track its prey, it focused on Kevin. And although the boys couldn't see very well at dark, the hyena could see very well and had his eyes locked on his prey. Hyenas are excellent nighttime stalkers, frequently ambushing their prey. The two boys were in trouble with no one around to help as they attempted to head back, the hyena lashed out at Kevin, and just in the last moment he grabbed him by the thumb as Kevin kicked the beast, but with the 1,100 pounds of bite force, it took his finger off. As Kevin attempted to run, he thought that his friend was behind him. All he could hear were his screams. Meanwhile, Anthony's brother heard the screams and ran towards the noise. Although he ran into Kevin, he didn't realize that his brother Anthony was being viciously attacked by the hyena and dragged off. There were only bits and pieces of Anthony found the next day when searchers went out to find him. The same day, the offending hyena was shot and killed. A necropsy would later reveal human remains inside. In the aftermath, the Kenyan Wildlife Commission would later state that they still warned people when confronted by hyenas to never turn and run. Rest in peace to Anthony Parsha. But I also wonder 
have the Kenyan authorities built a fence on the southern side of that game reserve? Please like, share, and subscribe to Where in the World is Frank and Gina on YouTube. You can simply type in Frank and Gina and that'll get you to our channel. God bless. Take care.